Okay, this is the bowlin. You simply make a loop. Bring the tail up, around, and back through. There it is. You want your tail to be on the inside. Some people, when they're first learning, will tie it to the outside. It will hold until you have a lot of strain on it, and then it will break. So, you don't want that. So, tuck your tail to the inside. This is the cleat that I use to suspend the load from the roof of the garage, so it has quite a bit of weight on it, so I'm not going to take the wraps off. See, it comes down, around, and then you just put the wraps on the cleat, and there's your half inch. So some of you are going, but I don't have a cleat in my house. Well. We use the same basic thing over and over again. You just need to recognize it. Maybe it's your vacuum cleaner cord, your electric frying pan, drill motor. It's just how you take a wrap. Two horns, if you will. Here, just naturally follows and tuck that, and there's your half hitch. You wouldn't do this to your electrical cords, so I don't know why people do this to their line. Even higher consequences. But don't do this. It's a mess. And on a cleat and a boat, you can end up tightening up and being the devil itself to get off. Here's the half hitch by itself. It's not much of anything. Take the half hitch and you make another one. That's two half hitches. It's also, you can see, a clove hitch around its own bite. It's a simple overhand knot tied around the back of the chair. If you go like this, see that's a square knot, right? and then if you let that spill, so you can see it, where you have the lark's head, pull that down. See in here, tie that, there's your square knot. Go the other direction. There's your granny knot. If you let that spill, tighten it down. There is your double half hitch, which again is a clove hitch tied around its own bite. This is a clove hitch. Take a wrap, go around, and you tuck your tail forms an X, and then you tie a knot on top, half hitch, and then it stays. If you don't do something to secure the tail, and you're there, and you get a little bit of wave action, it works itself loose, which can turn into a problem. Very handy variation of the clove hitch is the rolling hitch. You just take two rounds and bend like that. Turn that so you can see it. And again, just like the clove hitch, this one, take a half hitch on top of it so it can't work itself loose. Here we have the sheet bend or Beckett bend. it up, okay, to make that a double, you just 
go around twice instead of the once. Here is the granny knot loop and loop the other way. And a square knot. If you don't recognize it, here it is as a double slip square knot.